Right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go 11. What were you at total? Uh, Jeff, you said you were at it. You said you had put 11 in it. You're gonna be close. Okay. 11 minutes left. <laughs> Left one target. Elevation perfect. Perfect elevation. Like target. Oh, Jesus. Oh, just yeah. underneath it, Paul. Dude, That's about a two, almost a full That's target. That's a target height. Okay. Got one coming at you. Shoot, oh, just left. Coming at you. You don't think that wind is picked up? Huh? Impact. Is that a hit? Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Oh man! I thought that was yeah. a hit. I thought it was 4,000 yards of love. The flash and flash, didn't it? Yeah, it flashed. We yeah. got it on video, Paul. Nice. On that How many right shots, side, Paul? But I see Six, it shots. The Six shots. Six shots. Good job. Impact. 41 Love, dude. Good job, buddy. Yeah. To play right now. You got Thanks, it on. Man. Yeah. Thanks. I, I, I saw on. some <laughs> white on the right side. No, I, I saw the flash of flash. Yeah, we saw the. Yeah, I believe it was there because. Yeah. We're out here in Indian Springs doing some long range shooting. Uh, Paul Phillips from Global Precision uh, is out here. The Global Precision Group uh, also. Jeff Brozovich from Long Range Only and uh, Chase Stroud uh, with a, the Applied Ballistics team. Uh, we were just successful in hitting a target 4,125 yards out. These three men made it possible. Go ahead, Paul, tell the story. Well, first off, I want to say that, you know, this is not a world record. This is just having fun and practicing with the guys. And we're just doing development and research with all these products to vet them in the field to show people how they work. Uh, one of the things I'd like to say is that it took me six shots, cold bore, to be on target at 4125. Um, utilizing applied ballistic solutions, uh, programming all the environmentals on the Kestrel, and simply putting it on. And I think uh, Je Jeff will talk more about what his gun and his app, but it's simply amazing that you could dial in the environmentals on a solution. And our first round impact was perfect elevation, two targets left. Um, read the mirage across here. We've got a slight rise about a third of the way down. It's kind of increasing our mirage, but um, you know we've got a pretty consistent two to three mile an hour wind, full value left to right. It's great, and I know Jeff was doing some shooting beforehand and getting some of that wind data to make this a success. Tell us about that, Jeff. Well, the amazing part of this to me is. Uh, I don't tend to waste a lot of bullets at these distances, and uh, I was very impressed today and got schooled a little bit on just how accurate you can be. I came with a gun that was set up in Montana down here, and using my Applied Ballistics app, it's been spot on. I have not tweaked or adjusted any of the uh, anything in that app. This is what the lab radar give me for velocity. I, I put it good info into my using the custom drag model at Applied Ballistics worked out. I put it all in my app. And the elevation was spot on, clear out. And at every at every distance I've shot, it was spot on, clear out to 4,125 yards. So I only took four shots. I'm trying not to get a lot of heat in my barrel, but uh, my first one was only a wind call, a little bit of a wind call yep. off target. Same but thing, we, just just off left edge. Just off left edge. Yep. So, but the thing you want to remember is we're dealing with the mirage here, and we're having to crank our scopes down to use the reticle to get enough holdover and whatnot. But but anyway. Just the mirage alone has its effect of where the target is moving. I mean, you know, being less than a, a, you know, less than 20, 30 inches off target on the cold bore is incredible because we're talking about a half a mile an hour wind speed 
and that can affect the vertical too. So uh, pretty amazed at what went on, but I got some solid data. I had hits really close to the target. I was able to share that data with Paul. Paul lays down here and in six shots, he puts one on steel. That's incredible. Yeah, my, my analytics program uh, matched up with his uh, solution on his phone. They were spot on. I went with my uh, calculations I had in my, my uh, analytics, but I cross-referenced his data and it, was, it matched up perfectly. Um, you know, one thing too, I'd like to mention that I didn't have enough, uh, I was kind of between uh, 2,000 yards and three miles with my 400 minute uh, Charlie. So literally, I just unscrewed his from his gun and slapped it on my gun. That just goes to show how accurate these Charlies are. I mean, I literally borrowed his Charlie and slapped it on there and six shots made an impact. So. And that's the Charlie Tarek from TACOMHQ.com. Yeah, when John sent that one to me, you know, I told him set it on 100 minutes. It's just a good number I can keep track of. So we snapped that on, we're 100 minutes up. Then we started dialing with our scope. When we ran out of scope, we used a little reticle. But that thing is, according to app and all on everywhere, it is set at 100 minutes. So a very accurate piece of, of gear. My hat's all yeah, on too. Absolutely. And just a shout out real quick to Bartline Barrel, McMillan Fiberclass Stocks, a bad action, Night Force Scope, Bixinetti Trigger, Edgewood Bag, um, and I, I can't forget you know, Applied Ballistics. And also uh, Mitch Fitzpatrick with Lethal Precision Arms. He built this rifle, 375 Lethal Magnum. I shoot cutting edge bullets, 400 grainers at 3225. And all these products are available at ELRHQ.com. Thank you very much, gentlemen.